Hey, welcome back to the Back 40 Firewood channel. It's the morning after another jam-packed, action-filled live stream last night. Back 40 live streams Friday night at 8 p.m. Central. It's the place to be this summer. Let me tell you, it was, it was great. Great seeing all you guys, hanging out, chatting with you, interacting, having some fun, kicking back. But now, I'm gonna get to my little project with the yard here. And after last night, I had some ideas on how to, what I was gonna do, for those of you that weren't there, what I was gonna do is I was gonna attach or pull a little pallet behind the, uh, the John Deere little lawn machine. And I was gonna try to just smooth out this ground a little bit because we have over there, we put in um, one load of black dirt. I wasn't able to get another load because the day the evening that I put that in, that evening it rained and um, the place that delivers the black dirt, they said if it rains, they like to wait three to five days or two to three days before they deliver any dirt because it gets a little clumpy and gets a little weighted down and gets a little stuck together. So I have to wait to get another load. Unfortunately, now tomorrow it's supposed to rain again. So I might have to wait another three days, maybe mid next week. I'll get another couple loads in here and we'll finish it off. But in the meantime, since it is gonna rain, I'm gonna get some seed down on that today. So I wanted to find a way to just kinda level out some of the low spots. Um, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty smooth, we hand raked it all out. But over here, what I'm gonna do this morning now is I'm gonna test on this sandy area. I'm gonna test a little drag, a little redneck ingenuity drag system here. We're gonna MacGyver together something. I was gonna use a pallet, but after last night's live stream, some of you suggested I use like a chain link fence or some wire. So I do have a roll of welded wire um, that I had just laying around. And I'll show you here what I've done. And then we're gonna hook this up, give it a try. So I've taken this roll of wire and I just kinda, on the end, I just kinda folded over the ends and connected it. So it's, it's all one big roll. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need some weight in there or not. We're gonna try it without the weight. I'm just gonna chain it um, to the back of the, the little green machine here. So I'll show you, um, this would be a good little spot to test. Cause like, I don't know, you can kind of see here, there's, um, there's some little high spots and some low spots. So what I want to do is kind of try to smooth that all out and, and see if this works. Because then if it works over here on the sand, what I'm going to do is take it over there on that black dirt and just get a few of those spots and those clumps kind of dragged out. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. It may be hard to uh, to tell, but that actually didn't work too bad. But I think it does need a little more weight. I gotta figure out how to get something in there to a little heavier. But one thing, also, if, if you were on the live stream last night, you heard about all the little artifacts that I always keep finding. Check this one out.
another <laughs> another uh, buried treasure. Well, I don't know so much about the treasure, but I threw some old scrap 4x4s in there. Uh, I'm just going to test that now to see how that goes. It gives it, if it gives it a little more weight or if it needs a little bit more, uh, we'll add some more in. But now I'm just going to give that another test. Well, it works. It works a little bit. Or I guess it works good enough for, for what I need to do. So now it's time to move on to the main event. Okay, just because I had the original idea of the pallet, I decided I'm gonna try that as well. So I've got an old pallet here, and you can see that it's, um, there's a few of the boards on the bottom, there's only four, there's only four boards across the bottom, and they're kind of spaced out. So I'm thinking, or I, my thinking was, that that would allow the dirt to kind of flow over the top of one, and the next one and the next one and the next one. I did do one little pass with it. It was a little too light. So I put those two um, retaining wall blocks on the front to give it a little more weight to kind of dig in and scrape that first level off. And then hopefully the back three or four boards will act as a little land plane or a box blade, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to give this a try now. All right, so the pallet box blade, I think, worked pretty good, actually. It might be hard to see, but it's uh, it definitely flattened out some of the high spots and filled in some low spots. And But now it did kind of smooth it out almost a little too hard, so we're going to take that uh, roll of welded wire and go over this one more time just to kind of rough it up so we can get some uh, put some seed down. Woodhounds, check it out. No need to go rent or buy a couple hundred dollar piece of equipment. Just find an old pallet, find an old roll of wire, 
And look at that. Lawn ready for seeding. And now we've lightly raked over the seed. So we've got it kind of raked, lightly raked in. And now we have the sprinkler on. Just to get it a little, get it moist right now, give it a good little watering. And then give it some sun this afternoon, hopefully. And then this evening it's supposed to rain again. So that should hopefully work out pretty good. All right, so I think that's gonna do it. The old uh, redneck box blade with the pallet and then the uh, welded wire to uh, land plant it out. Didn't work too bad. So thanks again, everyone, for those suggestions. Thanks for being on the live feed. Um, it was a great time hanging out with all you guys. We're gonna get this thing watered down and then hopefully get some rain tonight. And in a few days, maybe we'll see some grass growing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay safe, have fun and be cool.